In this topic, there are a number of words that you'll need to be familiar with the meaning of. In this video, we'll look at a few of them that will help you with the understanding throughout the rest of the topic. Population is a collection of all objects or individuals of interest that we have properties that someone wishes to record. For example, all people aged 18 and over who are living in New Zealand on the 23rd of August 2018, or all possible 15 watt LED bulbs that could be produced by a manufacturing plant. Usually when we are looking at data we look at a sample. This is because it is not normally feasible to do a census which looks at everything in a population. The sample is a group of objects, individuals or values that are chosen from the population. The idea is that this group will be representative of the population. Usually the bigger the sample, the more reliable our estimates of the population, or point estimates, are likely to be. When taking a sample, it is important we avoid bias, which is anything that might cause favouritism to be shown towards one group or set of results. Sampling isn't the only time bias can occur, but it is definitely one of them. A variable is a measurement or a characteristic, for example weight or gender. Explanatory variables are variables that may provide information about another variable. Response variables are variables that might be affected by the explanatory variable. Control variables are variables that are part of a controlled experiment that help ensure the results are valid. Qualitative or categorical data is data in which the values can be organised into distinct groups. These distinct groups or categories must be chosen so that they do not overlap and that every value belongs to one and only one group. There should be no doubt as to which group data belongs to. For example, eye colour. Quantitative data is data which the values result from counting or measuring. It comes from the root word quantity. Measurement data is quantitative, as is whole number data. There are two types of quantitative data, discrete and continuous. Discrete data is data where the data can only take on specific values, often whole numbers, for example the number of people in a room. Continuous data is data which can be any value inside a range, for example the length of your foot. Because we're looking at a sample rather than the population, we need to make an estimate of what we think the population will be. We can never be totally sure about this estimate, but it is our best guess based on our sample. An average in quotation marks, is a good example of a point estimate or population parameter. As based on our sample, we are estimating what we think the average of the population will be. Usually when referring to average, people are referring to the mean, which is calculated by adding all the values together and dividing by the number of points. Average, however, can also refer to the median, which is the middle number when numbers are put in order, or the mode, which is the value that is most likely to occur.